Hi, this is Hong Shu from MotionCircles.com. Today I'll be teaching you how to achieve this animation in After Effects. I've attached the working file in the description. Feel free to download it and follow along. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Now I've already went ahead to put in my artwork into After Effects. You can see we have all these different layers. Now we can use this lock button to select the ones that we don't need to move. So we can lock the layers. The stones, we don't need to move it. The ground is just this thin line here. We can lock it. Now I want to go to layer and then create a new solid layer. Use the eyedropper tool pick this dark blue color, click on OK. Just want to cover everything underneath this line here. And then I can lock this layer as well. Now you can see all our plants above the ground. For this layer 12 here, you can see it's this thin plan here. All I need to do is go to Effects and Presets and then search for CC Bandit. Double click. Now you can see we have this settings under effects control panel. I need to set the starting point to the end of the leaf and then the end point to the top of the plant. As I drag this, you can see it's revealing the plant. And now if I just change the bend value, you can see the plant is actually waving. And this is the only value that we need to animate in order to do a waving leaf effect. So what I want to do is set it to zero, go to zero second, and then click on the stopwatch. Hit U on the keyboard to reveal the keyframe. Maybe go forward one second, and then maybe change the value back to negative 20, and then go forward one second, change it back to maybe five. So the leaf is like waving like this. That's good. And then I want it to slowly slowing down. So basically from positive five, I want to change back to maybe negative 20 again, and then settle down to zero. So let's see the animation here. Since it went back to zero, I also want to duplicate all these uh, keyframes and then command C for a copy and then command V for paste it in. So there's two loops right now. The first loop ends around four seconds and then it starts on the second loop. Now I got two loop of the same animation. Now I want to select all of them, right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. And then let's click on this graph editor. We can maybe drag the curve a little bit to give the wave a little bit more energy. And then go back. Let's preview the animation. Yeah, now you can see it's got more energy to the wave. I like that. That's basically going to be our main animation. Now what I need to do is to copy these keyframes and then also the CC Bandit effect, Command C, and then paste it into all the other different layers so that all the other plants or leaves are all waving the same way as this first one. Let's go to layer 11. This is a shorter plan here. Command V, paste it in. We need to change the starting point of the effect and then the end point here. Since I already pasted in the keyframe, if I preview it, you can see these two leaves are waving the same motion. That's good. And then I want to select this one here. Go to zero second, command V, paste it in, and then change these points to the start and end part of the leaf. This one here, Command V. Now I'm just going through the same process as the first two plant. 
I'm adjusting the start and end point of the CC blended effect to make sure it's at the front and end of the leaf. We already copied and pasted all the keyframes, select all of them, hit U on the keyboard, we can see all these keyframes. They all have the same animation. If I preview this one, you can see they're all moving the same way. So the next thing I want to do, I want to create a loop for these leaves animation. And I need to stagger the keyframes in order to make sure they don't animate exact same movement. To do that, let's go to, you can see this is my starting point of my second loop here at four second, 15 frames. Now let's go to the second frame after the second loop around five second, 14th frame here. I select all of them and then cut the layer option, right square bracket. And then let's go to the second keyframe with all the layers selected option, left square bracket to cut the layer again. Now we have this portion where we have one loop instead of two loops. If I preview this, hit B and N to cut the preview range. You can see within this preview range, the animation is looped. However, I'm not looping the animation from the first keyframe. I'm looping the animation from the second keyframe. Now we can adjust the keyframes slightly to select all these keyframes and then move them a couple of frames apart to give us some randomization. Just randomly moving all these keyframes, maybe one frame or two frames apart so that we get a randomized movement for the leaves, but still keeping the loop. Now let's preview this animation here after the adjustments. You can see my leaves are now moving slightly differently from each other. We have the staggered effect. It's subtle, but all the leaves are slightly moving differently. And that's the effect we are trying to get. Let's select all of them and then pre-compose it, name it plants waving. And just make sure we're cutting the outside the same as the inside. Over here, let's go back and then cut this layer here, option rec square bracket, and go inside again, make sure it's at one second, go back out, cut it here, option left square bracket. Now, if I duplicate it and then move the second layer all the way to the back, we get two loops instead of one loop. If I preview this one, you can see it will be a seamless loop. If you want to do more loops, you can just duplicate it and put it, stitch it together at the end to create another seamless loop. And that's how we do the looping animation. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something new, please leave me a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We will be publishing more After Effects tutorials like this every single week. In addition, we also have a free exclusive community where motion designers hang out and learn from each other. Click the link in the description to join our exclusive community. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video.